People trying to keep warm in this brutal cold might have sparked an early morning fire at this Quincy home. Investigators think that a space heater could be responsible. WBZ's Lisa Greshi is live tonight in Quincy at that scene. Lisa? The two-story home is now boarded up, but firefighters say what they arrived to this morning could have been a real tragedy, and the six people who lived here are lucky they made it out. Neighbors woke up to firefighters knocking on their front doors around 5 this morning. No, I mean, the firefighters let us know that it was happening. They woke us up and, you know, made sure that we were okay and sprayed the side of our house down. One family member came by this afternoon to get what she could, walking through and back out of the home with a firefighter still on scene, only to salvage a few small items. Simply thankful her family woke up in time. Yeah, we're, we're all happy to be here. Four people on the first floor and two on the second floor were able to run out of the front door. A firefighter cut his hand trying to get through the back door, but it was blocked, making that front door the only exit. Firefighters even kept some neighbors on standby. You're okay for the moment, but just be aware, stay awake, and, and if we need to, we might ask you to leave. So. While firefighters were able to stop the fire before it spread to the second floor, they do believe space heaters on the first floor are to blame and don't think there were any working smoke detectors on either floor of the home. Neighbors also recognizing it was a close call. We were happy that everybody is okay. That was sort of the primary concern. Is that now, what firefighters say made this fire so difficult to control was all of the things inside of the home at the time of the fire. And the firefighter who was hurt on the scene did have to get stitches, but is expected to be okay. Reporting live in Quincy, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.